Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to install the master config TF2 performance config. I call it a performance config because it's not only for FPS. That means that people who have a good PC like me can also use it if your game feels choppy or laggy for some reason. Uh, yeah, I use it myself even though I have a good PC but my TF2 kept feeling laggy and, and choppy for some reason. It's the best config available right now in my opinion uh, because it's up to date. It, it was created in 2017 and just updated a few weeks ago I think. So yeah, all you need to install this config are those four things you see on my screen right now. And yeah, just keep watching and we will start with how to reset your TF2 because that's an important step. To completely reset your Team Fortress 2, go to Steam, Library, Team Fortress 2, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. This will uh, bring you to the TF2 folder. Now another way to get there is by clicking on this PC, choose your local hard disk, Programs 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and now you're here. Yeah, now you're in the TF folder. Now what you want to do to restore, to reset TF2 completely is delete the CFG folder, then go into your custom folder, and if you have, if you already have a custom config for performance or for binds or anything, then save this config for later. And if you have hit sounds and kill sounds, also save them for later. Uh, now your custom folder should be empty. Okay, now close the TF folder. Go to Team Fortress 2 again. Properties, set launch options. And now type in auto config. Like this. Press OK. And close. Now launch the game. Now as you can see, Team Fortress was completely resetted to the default settings. Um, it's not on the right resolution. For me, the right resolution is Full HD. But yeah, it was completely resetted. And now you can exit out of the game again. Now your Team Fortress 2 is completely resetted to default. Now to the main part of the tutorial, which is of course installing the config. Now in order to do this, you have to go to the Master Config website. A link to that will of course be in the description. Download the latest release. Just download the zip file. And open it with your extracting program. I used WinRAR. Uh, now you will get this folder. And inside of this folder, there are many other files. But the two main files you will need is this file, this folder called master config, and this folder called master config exec, underscore exec, okay? Just um, copy and paste them on your screen, and then close WinRAR again. All right, now go back to Steam, library, Team Fortress 2, properties, local file, pros, local files, or you can get there on the other longer way. Uh, yeah, go to the TF2, folder again and into the custom folder. Now you want to copy and paste the master config and master config exec inside of the custom folder like this and you're done. Now if you like me used a config before and if you have been using hit sounds and kill sounds also copy and paste your hit sound and kill sound folder in here so that you have it later in game and open your old uh, config, your old auto exec file, like this, and copy all the copy all the commands that you still want to use. Copy them, and now you can paste them. Go into the master config underscore exec file, CFG auto exe. Now you can paste the commands from your old config that you still want to use on top of the stuff inside here. Uh, but I recommend you to only copy and paste things in here of which you know exactly what they do. So if you have any 
commands that mess with your graphics and performance, only paste them inside here if you read through all the things of the master config and you understand how everything works. I myself only pasted some binds inside of here, so that's absolutely no problem, it's just for building sentries and dispensers and some other things. That's absolutely no problem. Now there's only one step left, which is copy and pasting the launch options. You can find them right here in the auto.exe file. Under launch options, these are the normal launch options which you use if you yeah, just want to use this config without any custom settings, without changing anything on the config. So copy those right here, then you can close the uh, auto.exe file, close the tf file, go to steam, library, <coughs> team fortress 2 again, properties, set launch options. Now don't forget to remove the auto config from resetting the game. And now paste all the uh, earlier copied launch options in here. Press OK. And that's it. Now you can launch your game with the FPS config. Alright, so this is how the game looks now that we're using the master config. As you can see, it doesn't look worse at all. I think we are now using DirectX level 95. And yeah, everything still looks pretty good. You can see unusual effects, killstreak effects skins, everything you want. And yeah, the performance is just much better in my opinion. It feels a lot more fluent. And yeah, everything is fine. Alright, that's it for the tutorial. I hope I could help any of you. And I only want to say that you can of course uh, read through the auto exe file inside the config. There, There's a lot of useful information in here. You can change the launch options. Maybe this will improve your performance even more. So yeah, read through the auto.exe file and if you want to change uh, things on the actual config then you have to go to master config, cfg, config and here is the whole config. It's a lot of code, it's, it's, those are many, many commands. But yeah, you can read through all of those and figure out which is the best uh, for you. But the config also works just fine if you just installing it and change nothing else works perfectly fine. That's how, how I do it. So if you don't know things about TF2 commands, about configs, then you better leave your hands off this. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.